Welcome back. Today we're going to take what we did on paper, create those linear fit lines based on some data points in the best fit, right? So it's going to be a very simple, simple um, tutorial, less than five minutes. I promise less than five minutes this time. So let's just jump right into it. We'll start by creating a data frame and go from there. So we want to create a data frame. I'll just call it example data, ex data, and we will assign that into a data.frame, don't forget, right? So we want to create a data frame and we'll create predictor and response variables. Uh, we can call it, we call it anything we want. Let's do weight and height. So let's say we have a weight variable, right? We're going to set that equal to a column of numbers, a vector or a spreadsheet looking column, right? So when the weight is say, uh, 100 pounds, there's another person that weighs 160 pounds, and another person that weighs 220, right? So let's start off simple with just three um, three values so that we don't get too confused. So then I'm going to create the heights based on that. And we'll just, uh, I don't know how to convert to inches or centimeters, but figure 100 pounds is probably, you know, 45 inches, we'll call it. 160 pounds, maybe that's uh, 69 inches. And then 220 pounds, this is purely made up. Uh, maybe that's a uh, 74 inches, somebody a little bit taller, right? So that's our data. So let's go, let's just start off by running that and make sure it works. And we are good to go. Let me zoom back out for you. You can see in my global environment that I've created the data frame. We can actually go into this data frame and see exactly what I just typed in. We just created that from thin air. Uh, we have, uh, we want to plot that with our ggplot2. Load that in. If you don't have it, packages, install, ggplot2. Simple as that. You should know that by now. So let's just go ahead and create the uh, plot uh, without the line. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just say, hey, I want a new plot. I'm going to have my data is going to be my example data. And my aesthetic, I need to map some sort of values to this plot. So the x is going to be equal to our weight. So we're going to say, hey, based on the weight, based on the weight, what are the heights? So the, the y value is height, okay? Now that's not it. So we just have our canvas, our blank canvas. We need to know, hey, what kind of plot do you want? Well, I want a point plot, geom point, geom underscore point. And we run that. Let me get me out of the way here. You can see the plot now. And you see those three points, they're relatively, you know, they're almost lined up, but you know you can't fit a line through all of those. You know, so let's let's go ahead and add another geometry to this, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so let's go back to um, the code, and you can see that I'm just going to add to this. I'm going to say geom smooth. Now you guys might like this; it's kind of fun. If I literally just hit Command Enter on this, you'll see once I get out of the way and zoom out. Uh, there we go. It fit a actual um, more complex line. That's not a linear line. We don't want to start with that. We don't want to start with that. So let's go ahead and change that geometry smooth into a linear model like we were discussing before. So then we can say method equals LM for a linear model. And then rerun this code. Right, you ready? I'm going to rerun this code and you have a model with some confidence intervals, things like that, you can see that the line doesn't quite fit any of the points to make the best fit line. But it used simple linear regression to create that line. Now you don't know what that line's equation is at this point. You don't know much about it, but you know now that you can plot a line through any set of data points that you'd like. So in the next lesson, we'll get into some more of the specifics and how to customize this just a little bit better. Simple as that, less than five minutes. Share, like, and subscribe, etc. Bye.